hello good night hi everybody good night hello good night hello. good night hello. it's been a pleasure hey i like your outfit anita that's amazing you look so happy today yay i like it very good hello. yeah hi, teacher good night yeah, yeah. Um, how are you today? Tell me how was uh, the the children's day? Tell me how was the children's day? What happened with Anita? Something happens with her. I think her microphone. Anita, how are you? Oh, hi, hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good night. Tell me, how was your day? Yeah. I wear a... Uh, uh, mm. Custom? Custom, yes. Yeah. yeah, you look pretty nice, actually. You look happy. <laughs> Very good. I like your costume. I like the colors, actually. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, you look tired, right? You are tired right now. Yes, yes. Today was very tired. I I went to work from uh, eight a.m. Mm -hmm. to, to, to four p.m. To four p.m. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. After I I I come uh, at home. I back home. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, what time? I did, I did uh, this costume. And, uh, sorry, teacher, I can't. I, I didn't the homework. You didn't do the homework. Don't worry. We're going to practice today. So that's great. Don't worry about that. I can't. Yeah. I know it was a really hard day. Yeah, you can send it to me later, okay? But please send it to me. Because I evaluated. I evaluated at all. That's good. Don't worry about that. I'm, I'm so happy that you are here. I'm so, so happy about it. Yeah, I, I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see uh, Maria del Carmen working right now. Sammy, Sammy's back. Uh, Samuel Rosales, that's great. I have Carlitos here. I have Noemi. I missed her yesterday, but now she's back. She's back on the road. I do have Jose Ismael also. I do have uh, Ronald Umberto who actually is not eating, that's weird. Okay, I also have uh, Daniela, yes. She already, is, she already did her homework, so that's good. Excellent, guys. That's amazing, I'm so happy. Yeah, um, maybe right now we're just 10, but um, well, we um, there's another guy that will enjoy the class maybe later on, yeah? Tell me, uh, Noemi, how's your day? What did you do today? Is, uh, I work all day. Mm -hmm. It was very hard. Okay. But finish the the inform. Oh, so finish all your task. Yeah. Okay, everything all that you're supposed tasks. to do. Very good, excellent. Okay, look who's joining the class. Catherine Ramirez. Thank you, Christian. Very good. All righty. Helen, Thank how you. are you? Hi, Kik. Hi, Catherine. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Hi, hi. Helen and Catherine, they Hello. are back home. Hi. Yeah. Are you at home right now? <laughs> yeah? yeah? Yeah, that's nice. Yes, I am at home. Yeah, yeah. I could show you, right, that you were lying on the bed. Yeah, like, like this. That's great. Yeah, you deserve to relax. All right, very good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's great. I wish I could do that, but no, I cannot. <laughs> very good. Hi, guys. Okay, <gasps> hey, remember that there was somebody who had double advice, do, do, sorry, double homework. I think Mr. Umberto, by the way, the, the guy who's wearing a, a black shirt today and who's like using a mustache, like a Salvador Dali mustache. You remember that guy that we're talking about right now? Yeah, yes, Mr. Umberto. Yes, sir. 
tell me something. Did you find out what's the difference between advice with C and advice with S, as in Sami? Good evening. Good everyone. evening. So I I try to to search about the topic, mm -hmm. and I found some information. Okay. So in the case of advice, with what? With C or with, with S? With with C. With C as in Charlie. Okay. Yeah, uh, is when you just when if when you give a suggestion about what someone should do. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, let me give you some advice. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting, in, interesting, 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 this word because I I I read about this word and this word is incontable. So you you can say I give you uh, advice advices. Uh, did I did I tell you that already? I told you yeah. that, that you cannot pluralize it. Really? Of course. Oh. I don't know if you were paying attention or not. Uh -huh, oh, yeah. But I told you that. No, but but the, the correct form is let me give you some advice. Exactly. In that, in mm -hmm. that case, it's correctly to mm -hmm. say that. Exactly. An so, advice or some advice. Mm -hmm. Just good. I told yeah. you that already in one class. You can double check the videos once again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So advice advice with S uh, means when you give someone advice. For example, I will I will advise my sister mm -hmm. because she wants to get married. Mm -hmm. So advice with C means consejo and advice with S is aconsejar. Okay. So basically guys, what is the difference? If, what do you understand that there is that this is a difference, Umberto? What is the difference? Advice because there is, is a, a different advice is a verb. So an advice with C is a noun. Exactly. Okay. Both of them refers to something that you um I give suggestion to somebody to do something. The difference is that with C is the substantive. Okay? Mm -hmm. The substantive. But with S is the verb itself. Yeah. Okay. That is the main difference, actually. Okay, so um, what basically I already have sent you to the group. I sent it to you right now, guys, to all of you, the difference between each word, okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. If you want, for example, to say that you will give more than one advice, like Umberto said, some advice, but not some advices, no. When you use some, when you use the word some, you're already preparing the person who's listening to you that you will give more than one suggestion, okay? But if you want to give only one suggestion, you said an advice. If you want to give more than one, some advice, never advices, like Umberto said. Very good. Mm -hmm. What about the second uh, <laughs> homework, Umberto? Go ahead. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. we need... Yesterday we were talking about that you you assign that we need to make a five sentence mm -hmm. uh, using a infinite infinity plus a, a five sentences uh -huh. plus, using what ah, yeah. We were talking about imperatives and mm, infinities exactly. for, for giving suggestions. Exactly, you're right about that. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and so <laughs> we have we have a, 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 around six words. For mm -hmm. example, make sure, be sure, don't forget, remember, try not. So mm -hmm. my example is a, my example may, is or my example are. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. My examples are mm -hmm. uh, make sure to eat after working out. Very good. Excellent. Uh, don't forget to pay your bills. Okay. Remember to earn some money. Mm -hmm. uh, try not to smoke because it's bad for your health. Very good. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Heck no, that's great. You make me feel so happy. You see the heart over there? Yeah. yeah. What did you say? 
you make me feel so happy. That's why I give you a heart. Ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully your your girlfriend doesn't think bad. Okay, it's not not that. <laughs> oh yeah, very good. Congratulations. Well done, Umberto. I'm so happy and I'm so proud of you, my man. Very good. Excellent. You see, Sammy said, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's listen to uh, Jose Ismael. What about you, my man? What do you have for us today? Okay. Uh, today, mm -hmm. it was different from yesterday. Okay. But yesterday was a quiet day, but today it was a... Hard day. Uh, uh, yes, I I had a, a lot of work. Ooh, and, me too. And yes, and, and we finished the, the day at least at uh, seven p.m. Today, wow. Yes, yes, uh, one I... hour ago. One hour ago, yes, definitely. Yes, me uh, too. The night, uh, uh, nos agarró. Yeah, get up. Gets up. Gets out, uh, mm. in, in the world. Okay. Yeah. But did, did you uh, write your homework? Yeah, I write. Okay. Uh, Let's five. listen. I, I want, we want to listen to you. Go ahead. Uh, five sentence. Yeah, only five. Yeah. I ask you only five. Be sure to turn the lights down. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to take the, the garbage out. Very good. Make sure to pay your bills. Aha, uh -huh. we'll copy on birds. Okay, that's good. It's like, it's like, <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just kissing. I just kissing remember you. to make <laughs> remember to make your bill every day. Very good. Excellent. Try that's not good. to do noise at the library. Very good. Try I... not to to do noise. At the library. Yeah, exactly. To stay <laughs> quiet, right? Very good. Excellent. I give you a heart and I give you an applause. Excellent. Great job, sir. What about Carlitos? Yeah. Hey, Carlitos. Thank you. Thank you. Very good job. Let's yeah, listen to you. Uh, the homework. Yes. Now we have two ideas that they have been the same, right? Paying bills. Okay. Umberto and Ismael. Very good. Like, uh, today I, I, I pay some bill teaching. <laughs> oh, me too. Especially the, the cell phone ones. Yes. Very good. Yes. Okay. Um, don't, don't forget to do the homework. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. Sec the, second is, uh, the second is make sure to be on time for the class. Very good. I like that one. <laughs> And sir is remember to join for the English class. Uh -huh. um, you said what? Sir, you said sir? No, 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 no. Uh, Charles, I, 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 I try to pronounce uh, the number. Okay, okay, six. you said just. Okay, cool, 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 good. Okay. Okay, try not to forget your notebook mm -hmm. for your class. Mm -hmm. And the last one is don't forget to drink water yeah i also will give you a heart and it will give you an applause excellent job very good you, carlito yeah. amazing helen do you have uh the, the homework for us yes teacher go ahead we listen to you my girl okay don't forget to change the old flowers okay try to clean the room properly mm -hmm. make sure to assign mr diaz room very good. Be, sh be sure to take the correct bus to work. All righty. Remember to do the laundry at least three times a week. Oh my God, that was so amazing. There you go, excellent. Thank you. Woohoo! excellent job, very good. Adela, what about you, my girl, my beautiful lady? <laughs> Hello. Hello, Hi. that's great. Sorry, is I uh, I have a lot of work in I can, <laughs> can I can have time for to do my for to do my homework. <laughs> oh my god, that Sorry. is a, that is the <laughs> old excuse I ever heard in my entire <laughs> life. Okay, try to try to think about one right now. Only one. But uh, 
Mm. Is in negative form. You can say negative or positive. Okay. Either or. Okay. Uh, be sure to to listen to English news. Very good. You see, <laughs> you could do it. Yeah, excellent job. That's the girl that I love. Excellent. <laughs> All righty, what about you, Catherine? Hi, Kathy. Hello, how are you? Houston, we do have a problem here right now. Catherine, hello, how are you? I, I don't know, where is Kathy? Can you hear her? I cannot hear her right now. No, right? We cannot hear her. What about you, Wendy? Hi, Wendy. Hello. Okay, Wendy's not here. Okay, what's going on with these girls? What about you, Daniela? Hello. Sorry. Aha, 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 right? Aha. All righty, Wendy. Hey, can I have your homework, please? Yes. Go ahead. Right now. Yes, of Give course. Uh, be sure to send your report. Don't forget to wash the dishes mm -hmm. after the dinner. Mm -hmm. Try to cook the lunch tomorrow. Okay. Make sure not to forget the key house. Mm -hmm. And remember to take your medicine every night. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, I will give you a, a heart and I will give you an applause as well. That's amazing. Great job, <laughs> girl. Very good. Thank Danny, you. what about you, Danny? I, hello. Hello. I know that you're ready. I know your sentences, but I want you to share it with your classmates, please. Okay. Uh, number one, don't forget to call your mom when you arrive at the airport. Mm -hmm. Be sure to stay at home when the movie begins. Okay. Don't forget not to talk when the teacher is speaking. Mm -hmm. Try not to say incoherence. Don't forget to work out every day. Very good. Incoherences. Incoherences. Yes. Very good. Great job. And I like the one that you said, try not to speak when the teacher is playing. Okay, very good. I love that. <laughs> I love that one. Yes, because that's true. All yes. righty. Thank you so much, Danny. And Christian, what about you, Christian? Okay, Christian, I think is reconnecting his audio. Uh, Mr. Fernando, how are you? Wow. Hi, Peter. You like Fernando hairstyle? That's amazing, right? All righty. Fernando, did you do your homework, by the way? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Um, I didn't know do all the sentences, but I have some. Very good. Go <laughs> ahead with the ones that you have. Oh, and may I apologize, uh, Danny. I'm going to give you a heart, and I'm going to give you an applause. Go ahead. Okay, for, uh, Fernando. Okay. Go ahead. We we'll listen to you. Uh, Try to do all the English homeworks. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget to pay the water bill. Mm -hmm. Remember to drink to drink lots of the water. Mm -hmm. Make sure to make sure to turn turn off the television at night. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you pick you pick out all the toys. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure to wash all the clothes all the clothes. Uh, this time. He'll make sure not to forget the case. Very good. Okay, he said, I have the some kids. teacher, but you have them all. That's amazing. Great job. Okay, teacher. Good job. I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, and the last one I want to hear, Christian. How are you, Christian? Hello. Hello, Christian. I don't know what's going on with Christian and Catherine. They, I think they have problems with the connection right now. Okay. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay, guys, very good. I'm so happy. We're going to ask them later on. Um, I'm so happy right now for all of you that you have done the homework. Very good. That helps you a lot, right? And it's different to speak than to write. Is that correct? It's different. Yeah. Yes. So that's why I give you that homework because I want you to practice the writing and speaking. Hopefully, you have not forget the comas, right? And also the period at the end of the sentence. That will be fantastic, okay? Never forget that. And for example, if you're starting a sentence, remember, you need to put capital little, 
Okay, capital letter. Mm -hmm. Or if you're using a proper name, like an institution name, or the name of some person, or a name of a country, for example, you need to put it in capital letter, at least the first letter of the word. Okay, mm -hmm. never forget that. This is really important. Maybe in Spanish, we're not like so picky with that, but in English, yes. This is really important to learn how to write correctly. All righty, so why I'm asking you that? Because not all, also just to, for you to send the information of your boss of when you communicate with somebody else, sometimes you need to write something, right? It is really important to know how to write it and to write it correctly. Using a space, using capital letters, using punctuation, etc. Okay, and also, guys, if you're doing the platform exercises, for example, sometimes you said, "Okay, that sentence is correct. I'm a hundred percent sure." But what is giving me wrong? Guess what? You forgot capital letter. You forgot comma. You forgot period at the end of the sentence. You forgot exclamation mark. You forgot question mark. Or maybe you gave too much spaces. To be too, man, too many space between one letter and another. So that could be the reason what is getting you wrong, okay? So that's why I'm like paying attention to those things because are really important. And talking about platform, guys, um, I just want you to let me know, um, well, or to give you, if you have any questions regarding um, the mirror term exam for uh, section three, how you try to do that already. No? No yet. No yet. question? No yet? Okay, I want no you guys yet. just to give like a brief, I'm not going to give you the answers, okay? No way. Aha, the teacher, yeah, I'm going to give, no way. But let's double check a little bit that section because uh, uh, for, it's really important that you try to do it, okay? So you can like uh, practice uh, everything that we have seen right now. We're, we're in, in section three right now, but uh, we have not finished it yet, but you can do the mirror term already. You can do it. Let me, let me uh, show you my screen right now. So you can have like a little bit idea. What are the skills? Okay. Or what are the type of questions that you can uh, find in that part of the platform? And you will know what to do when you are going to, uh, to complete that section. Okay. So let me just a couple of minutes. And if you have any question while we're double checking, that would be nice for me. No problem at all. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Okay, let me check it out. Do, 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 do. Okay, it is really, really important to do that. Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. Okay, let's check. Just to give you an idea, okay, guys, what you're supposed to, to check on the mirror term. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Let me know as soon as you're able to see my ice cream, okay? Because it's really important that you're able to see it. Can you see it now, guys? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. The first thing uh, that we are going to practice, guys, basically will be the writing. Remember that we saw the, the two word verbs. Remember that? Or well, the phrasal verbs. Remember? The put on, uh, put in, put off. Remember that? So basically, yeah. in this particular section, the first section, you are going to do this. You see? Part of the two part verbs. You have a sentence, you already have the verb. Okay, let me, let me uh, mention this one really quickly. You see the verb is here, guys. All that you gotta do is to select which one you think is good. Clean off, clean up, or clean on. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you the, right, the, the, the correct answer, okay? No way. Mm -hmm. Hi, Danny. <laughs> I'm just dizzy you. And, and you're going to do, we have guys approximately, we have one, two, three, uh, three parts of the first section. And then we have the second section, the part two, which is basically, um, you have to choose either infinitive 
or a gerund. Remember how we construct the infinitive, guys? Remember that? Yeah. How do, how do we construct the infinitive? Use two, two plus and the bird plus, plus the bird. The bird no, original. The base. Right. That's base the base form. one. Exactly, Naomi. Very good. So you have to remember that, right? That's the infinity, right? Mm -hmm. And what about uh, the gerunds? Use four. Plus uh -huh. And the verb with an Exactly. Four plus, exactly. Very good. Plus verb, exactly. Plus oh. ing form. Oh, that's a sweet baby. I'm listening to. That's great. I love babies. Very good. Okay, exactly. So basically, guys, that is what you're supposed to do in this section, okay? In this, in this second part. In this second part or of part A, okay? Mm -hmm. So this part A, the writing part, has two things. The first one, check the correct particle of the face of verb. And the second part of section A, you have to choose either an infinitive or a gerund, okay? That's it. What about the second part? The second part, basically, guys, is continue right now um, writing or rewriting, basically. You have the sentence here, okay? Pay attention to the comma, okay? This is a sentence. Close the door, please, okay? Okay, close the door, please. Remember, right now it's an imperative, right? Close the door. I'm giving you an order, okay? But... Do, can you see here, guys, that we have one word in parentheses? You see here? Yeah. yeah. So do you remember that we use model verbs to ask somebody to do something for us, to make a request? Remember that? Yeah. Okay. So remember that if you're using model verbs, it has to be at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. And remember that if we use that, we use also infinitive. And if we're asking a question, what's, what are we going to miss here? What, if it's a question, what are you supposed to, to add, guys? A question mark, of course. Okay. So if it's a question, Remember, you need to put a question mark, okay? All the time, never forget that, okay? So basically, it will. this is going to be like that. That will be exactly what you're supposed to do in this section, okay? Take a look. You're going to construct, a, again, the sentences using the words that you have in parentheses, okay? You mm -hmm. see, in parentheses. Could, remember the model verse that we have seen? Could, would, can. Can. Okay. And guys, pay attention to this. Remember that I told you that you can use please to do it more polite. You can use it or you cannot use it. But if you use it, you need to remember something. Even though you're making a sentence or a question, you got to put coma. Coma before please. Okay. Never forget the comma, because if you do not put the comma, it will give you an error, okay? Just to let you know, just to remind you, okay? That's why punctuation is really important. Tell me, guys. Teacher. Yes, that's Sorry. what I'm about the question. Go ahead. Go ahead, my girl. Always, always use come. If you're going to use the word before, please. Before, please? Yes. Before. Yes, yes. Okay. If you Thanks. use please, yes. My pleasure, Adela. If you use it, yes. If you do not use it, no. But in this case, so since, since if the we sentence, want to, mm -hmm. if we want to uh, make a a, uh -huh. a good sentence, uh, we have to put "could you" uh, next a comma, please. No, please remember, please is going to be the at middle. the end. Uh, no, at, at the, the end. end. At, at the, the end. end. Remember that it has to be at the end. We could, we could, could yes. Exactly, we could just remember that's that, uh, um, that topic, right, Adela? Yes. yes, it has to go at the end, guys. Okay, that's why you can see in Otros this in this sentence that is at the end. Okay. Okay, so the correct way of that sentence is: Could you, could you close the door, please? I'm not going to tell you yes or no. Uh -huh. 
no way, I'm not going to give you the answer, okay? I'm just uh, guiding you how to do it, okay? Uh -huh. Because you were supposed to do it yourself. I'm just letting you know what are you going to do, okay? And that's why, guys, please always, this is really clear, always read the instructions, okay? The instructions are in Spanish or in English as well. Tell me something. Right now, do you have any questions on section B? Right now? Is it clear? No. It's no? clear. It's yes. clear or no yes. question? Yes. Okay. It's clear. It's clear. It's okay, clear. let's move on to the listening part. Okay, these guys, you have the listening part. Uh, you can listen as many times as you want to, okay? You just click on uh, play again and you will listen. Basically, uh, this listening part, it will ask you for a specific questions, okay? You have here a different, uh, four, um, four conversations actually. We have here Stephanie, we have Barry, we have Eva and Heather. Okay, and each of them express their opinion about something. So basically, what you have to do is just to listen. And after that, you click on the option that you consider is the right answer. And that's it. That, that's not complicated. Should I move to the reading part? Any questions right now? No question. Oh, good. No. Okay, in this reading part, guys, this is really important. Do you remember, today we're going to do another reading practice, but on this particular reading practice, you need to read carefully, okay? Read carefully and um, try to read in once, then try to highlight the words that you don't know what does it mean. Try to search it in the dictionary and read it again, guys with the words that you already know what's the meaning of. And after that, and after you have done this listening or reading activity, then you will have one, two, three, four questions regarding the article. And, and basically you have an options, right? You do have an options. So what I want you to do is basically to try to search for the right answer, okay? For each question. And do me a favor, read the questions, okay? Read the questions. My best recommendation, guys, is do something. Before you start reading the article, if, antes de que empiece a, a leer el artículo. Read the questions. Read the questions, exactly. First. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you have the idea, see? You have the idea what is exactly the information you need to look for, okay? Read the questions and read the three possible answers for each question. Then read the article, okay? And read it as many times as you wanted to and as you need to, okay? Any, uh, um, any doubts, any questions, guys, right now on the reading section? No? No. Okay, are you sure? In this moment, no. In this moment, no. But very good. And the last section is the matching. And the circuntar, the matching. All right. Okay. First of all, guys, we have the phrase. Okay. Before a young man and a woman speak. Okay. And you have in here you have four possible answers. Okay. So you need to choose the best one or the one that you think that is the most appropriate. Okay. Before tea high meat for the first time. Mm -hmm. You need to search for words that you don't know what does it mean, okay? When they have their first date, after they met for the first time, etc. cetera, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's really important that you double check. And, and you know what, guys? No, I'm not going why, to, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to give you, to let you know that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Teacher, what yes. is the, I, I saw two sections in this, in the reading. In the reading section. part. Ah, okay. Be, be with me. Reading. Let me go back. Let me go back to the reading part. Okay. Yes, I have one. Uh, no, the, the two sections in the, in the, in the paragraph, in the document. Ah, okay. Yes. The document has two sections. Mm-hmm. Two section is is about the question in the 
Mm -hmm. the yes, both of them, yes. So you need to read everything. First we have Dear Sally, and then we have Dear Slowly, okay? Mm -hmm. Exactly. First of all, uh, Sally is explaining his situation, his neighborhood, etc. And then um, Slowly is answering Sally, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, so basically, guys, that's it. Do you think it's hard? Yeah. No, oh, come on. <laughs> Come on, who said yeah? Yeah. Yes, of course not. Yeah, me, me. Who? No, Noemi, no. Me. You, that's why we're doing this kind of exercises, guys. One of the hardest part is the reading. Is the reading because basically um, you need to understand what exactly they're asking you for, all right? Not only speaking, but also understand what you are reading. There are people that they, is, they read it, but they do not understand. So that's why we are doing this. We're developing right now. Today, guys, we are going to develop the reading part. Okay, we, have, we haven't had work right now these days, the reading part, and it's really important. Okay, so I, I have, guys, two articles for you. Two. How, how many also? Uh, we have to do the, 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 the speech. No, the test, you can try as many times as you want to oh, do, okay. as long as you get the score that you want, okay? okay. As, and yes, don't worry about that, okay? But please try to do it, okay? That's why we're doing this practice. That's why I went all over it right now, so I can explain it to you exactly what you're supposed to do, okay? And I clarify any doubts that you have. Um, and I'm not going to give you the answers, of course, right, Carlitos? <laughs> yeah, but you know, also, you have an idea right now, okay? And it's, when you are doing that, guys, if you still have any doubts when you're doing that, send me a message, okay? Teacher, I'm stuck there. Like, I'll try this and this and this, and it's not working, so <laughs> what's going on with me? What am I doing wrong, okay? I will try to help you, okay? I'm not going to give you the answer, but I will try to help you, all right? So are you ready right now for the writing? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Everybody's happy except Umberto. I think Umberto is sleepy. I think, yeah, I think he's uh he needs another green apple or a coke. And Wendy crying. Wh why? I'm crying. Uh, I oh, have. You have allergy. an allergy problem. Yes. Uh, do you have a, like a sinus problems? No. What? Sinu? Yeah, sinu. Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh. I have a sign of problem. I'm sorry for that. Me for too. The, uh, my daughter too. Your daughter too? Oh my God, I'm sorry yeah. for that. You need to take care about yourself, right? Uh, one. Well, I have to let you know that one thing that has helped me a lot is try to eat as healthy as possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> helps me a lot. Yeah, and I had to avoid many things. For example, like um, sodas, snacks. Mm. Uh, artificial uh, things, artificial beverages. If I, eat, for example, eat a lot of fruits like green apple, like Umberto said, like um, blueberries, like strawberries, like that, or green things, I can spend one year without having a sign of problems. Really? Yes. But and diet, diet is really important. Things green like a lemon like a strawberry but i am allergic from strawberry too oh okay sometimes if you're allergy the allergies recommend that you need to like uh try to do it in juice not to do it in like uh, physically for example my niece has allergy problems for, for tomatoes so the doctor recommend not to eat the tomatoes like in a salad Try but to, in to, but in a juice, or if you prepare like a, like a sausage for pupusas, salsa, mm. yeah? Yes. Because yes. when, when the tomato gets boiled, something happens and take off the sustenance that help, that uh, causes the problems to my sis, to my niece. Oh. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can still eat it, but you, have to, you can eat it or cook it in a different way. But my best recommendation is to ask the doctor about that, okay? It's yeah. really important. Yes, yeah. it's really important not to medicate, or maybe what something is good for me, maybe it's not good for you. 
Yeah. Right? So it's much better all the time to consult a physician all the time. Okay? Yes. yes. Especially if you already have a disease, for example, like diabetic or hypertension or everything, you should consult a doctor first all the time. Very good. Okay, so let's practice. Okay, let's practice the reading. <laughs> let me, uh -huh, let me share right now my screen with you. All righty, bear with me for a couple of minutes. This first article, guys, is easy peasy queasy, like I am saying. Okay, <laughs> yes, because basically that is a day in your life. And we're going to go in the future. We're going to go to 2020. Can you imagine that, guys? 2020. Woohoo, right? Okay. Yes, like in Jackson's, like the, uh, the Supersonicos, remember that? Jackson's in yes. English? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you need to like transport yourself into that day or in that uh, year, 2020. This article, guys, talks about a. Uh, Different things that we used to do uh, right now, but if you're in 2020, you will do it in a different way, okay? So we're going to read the article, and at the same time, in this particular sentence, I want you guys to pay attention on the information for each paragraph because we need to identify what is the paragraph talking about, and we need to put a header. You know what header is? for each paragraph. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Or would you like me to explain it a little bit in Spanish? I don't know what is a uh, Okay, okay. El, el encabezado. Exactly, Noemi. Oh, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. This article has, I think, four, no, f I think four or five paragraph, and it has a space for us to put a header, encabezado, all right? For each paragraph. For each paragraph, exactly. So basically, yeah, I want, I, can you see it right now, guys? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yeah. So, ha, guys, uh, this is the headers, right? We have communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around. Es como dar una vuelta, getting around, o andar por ahí, and then working, okay? Okay, guys. And here, you see that we have a space well, to put the header. So, basically... We need to like um, read the article. We're going to practice the speaking at the same time, the, putting the, cor the correct header into the correct paragraph. Who can help me read? Uh, guys, this part, the first one, is the author's opinion, okay? So who can help me read the author's opinion? Thank you now, Noemi, go ahead. Okay, people used to know more or less how their children would live. Would live. Would live. Mm -hmm. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our our own mm -hmm. life, life mm -hmm. will be like in a few years. Mm -hmm. What follows is how experts see the future. Okay. What is exciting? Tell me, Naomi, in what you have read, what is exactly the, the author is telling us in that paragraph? What did you understand? Uh, the, the thing changed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the thing very or the life? quickly, quickly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the life. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Sometimes, guys, we, we don't even know what our lives are right now. Sometimes we can do something right now. But in the future, maybe it's, it's different. La, yeah. la, la vida puede cambiar, right? Es variable. Okay? <laughs> so you don't know, or we don't know how our lives will be in the future. ¿Qué va a pasar con nuestras vidas? We don't know, right? And so in this particular one, two, three, six paragraph, we have the expert's opinion about the future, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's start right now. Danny, can you please be so kind to read for me the first uh, paragraph? What paragraph? The first one. This one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Your day dreaming behind, behind the wheel. Uh -huh, the wheel of your car. The wheel of your car, but that's okay. 
you have in automatic pilot and pilot with, pilot. Mm -hmm. and with its high tech tech computers your car knows how to get you home safely very good okay danny tell me in your in your words what this uh, paragraph is talking about it's talking about communication shopping relaxing eating gaining around or working what do you think uh, i think he's getting around uh-huh guys are you agree with uh, with danny yes yes okay so getting around very good danny okay <laughs> excellent job getting around okay second paragraph umberto please you help for the you help for the kitchen when you get home mm -hmm. you order groceries by computer an hour ago mm -hmm. and they've been delivered mm -hmm. you pay for them before they arrive the money was automatically mm -hmm. automatically automatically they do i don't deduct know what deducted deducted from your bank account mm -hmm. nobody use cash anymore nobody uses cash anymore use, uses cash anymore mm -hmm. what it says is that the money was compraste algo por internet y nadie tocó dinero eh, la plata que gastaste se tomó o se, se dedujo Mm -hmm. O se redujo automáticamente de tu cuenta bancaria. Deducted. Deducted from your bank account. Okay? Okay. Did you understand now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so tell me in your own words. Uh, what is exactly this uh, paragraph is talking about? Mm -hmm. It's talking about relaxing, shopping, oh. communicating, eating, or working. I'm, I'm, I'm confused, but I think that is shopping, maybe. Yeah, you're right about that. Why you are confused? Tell me. Because uh, I don't know some words. Uh-huh. Th those were already but, let but, you know. But, but in the context, mm -hmm. for the logic, I mm -hmm. think that is shopping. Yeah, very good. Yeah, remember that we have practiced that even though you don't know some words, you can understand the meaning by reading the context. Do you remember that? For example, maybe you don't know the doctor, right? Maybe delivered, maybe groceries. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Or uses cash, maybe. Bank account, okay? Bank account, cuenta bancaria. Nobody uses cash, mm -hmm. nadie utiliza plata. Delivered, te la llevaron. Y deducted es que se redujo o se extrajo el dinero de tu cuenta bancaria. Are you okay? Deducted. Deducted. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Help me reading, please. Jose. Go ahead, Jose. Third paragraph. Jose, where are you? Excuse me. I can see. Clearly. You cannot see? I can see clearly the, your screen. Ooh, what I, happened? Maybe here? I, I, there, there is uh, some. Internet problems. Mm -hmm, that could Sorry. be. Not okay. Sammy, what about you, Samuel? Can you read it? Uh, yes, I have no problem. Very good. Go ahead with the third paragraph, please. Okay. What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop, up, stop off to mm -hmm. get a hamburger or a pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which food your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes yours makes you a salad. Very good, good, good pronunciation, Sammy. Except for two Thanks. things. What? Uh huh. You forgot the s at the end of food and the s at the end of need. I always make that mm -hmm. the mistake. But you know what? You do not forget the s at the end of make. So that's interesting. <laughs> but you know and, and congratulations because you correct yourself on the stop off very good job excellent so tell me what, what you sorry yes. i don't hear you with, with a stop off you correct yourself and you pronounce it correctly a stop off 
which is really good. Very good job. Okay, thanks, thanks. So tell me in your own words, okay, are we talking about communication, relaxing, eating, or working? Uh, it's about eating. Exactly, because we're talking about hamburger and pizza, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Yeah, very good. So we have, guys, three more headers left. Okay, we already have used uh, shopping. We already have used eating. And we have used already get it around. Okay, read for me the next paragraph. Okay, who's going to be the victim? Sorry, the volunteer in this particular sentence. Wendy, there you go. Can you please read for me the second, the next paragraph, if you don't mind? Yes. After lunch, you go down the you go down the hall to your home office. Mm -hmm. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work any anymore. Anymore, okay. So what this paragraph is talking about? Is it um, relaxing, communicating, or working? Relaxing. Are you, okay, guys. Do you agree with Wendy? Working. Uh-huh. Listen working. to your, uh-huh. No, it's about working. Exactly. You see, here yeah. you have everything you need to do your work. Excellent job. Very good. Okay, who can help me continue yeah. reading? Uh, Helen, what about you, Helen? Okay. Great. Go ahead. Next paragraph, please. Okay. Your information screen says that you have received a message from the worker. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Mm -hmm. Workers face a pair of the screen mm -hmm. on the screen, and the translation occurs at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you think this paragraph is talking about? Communicate, communicating. Communicating, you're perfectly right. Very good. Why do you say that? Because they're talking about translation, right? Yes, but yeah. mm -hmm. they say that that use uh, the internet to mm -hmm. communicate with the with the Ex other people in other countries. Exactly, very good. So they're talking about technology, right? Very good, excellent. Yeah. And the last but not least, Carlitos, can you please be so kind to help me reading the last paragraph? Okay, uh, you finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about how about a classic class tonight, maybe back to the future? Very good. Uh, 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 do me a favor. Uh, okay, try to help me uh, read this one once again. Television. On the television. Television. The, then, television. No, television, no. Television. 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 Very good. Then read this one. Through. Through. Very good. Then I want you to read these two questions in a question intonation. Listen carefully. How about a classic tonight? How about classic tonight? Very good. Maybe back to the future? Maybe back to the future. Yeah, remember that back to the future is a movie, right? The Regreso al yes. Futuro. Back to the future. Very good, guys. So tell me what it, this paragraph is talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, rela relaxing of course right ah, that was an easy peasy easy because it's the last one the last one. <laughs> uh -huh. very good excellent do you like this exercise guys yeah yes yeah now it comes the hardest part teacher yes bye. yes a student uh, i have a question go ahead, go ahead. Uh, what, what means in the four paragraph what means or what doesn't mean what does it mean uh, in the four in the four paragraph? Uh -huh. Commute. Commute. Com uh huh. You never have to commute to work anywhere. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Try to read the sentence just by yourself. 
And, and tell me if you got an idea what commute means, just by reading the sentence. Read the sentence for me, Humberto. You sure. Uh-huh. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I will do my, my question before. Okay. After. Okay. After, okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea what could mute could be, uh, Humberto? Maybe it's a, I don't, uh -huh. I don't know, I, maybe it's a routine when people go to the home and your work and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other idea? Mm. Uh, no. It's uh, when uh, people mm -hmm. work together with uh, another, it's when you go to a uh, work with another person to the works. A kind of Carlitos. Actually, it's when you work in another place. For example, oh. take a look. You never have to commute to work anymore. Okay? That means, guys, commute or commutar. That means to travel, viajar. Mm. O trayecto, right? Mm -hmm. To go another place. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're working from home. Oh. Home office. Okay? Is it clear now, Humberto? Yeah, and, and, and the, the last one. Uh -huh. and, and the second paragraph, mm -hmm. uh, at the first, uh, you head for the kitchen. So You head, head for the in, kitchen. In mm -hmm. that case, head is a synonym of go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's a synonym for God. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's, for it's, go. It's, it's a little bit weird, but... I know. In which one? In the second paragraph. In the second paragraph. Ah, that's that's, the reason. that's like that a bus. The, that is the reason for some 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 people say I'm heading home. Exactly, you're the boss of the kitchen. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, oh, you are teacher. the director of the kitchen. Exactly. Teacher, what is what is the difference? What is the difference with the with the another word? Go ahead. Go ahead, that means that I'll give you permission to proceed or to do okay. something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's the difference. Any other question, guys? No? Should we move on to the next article? Yes, right? Okay. All right, take a look at this one. Unique customs. What is unique? Yeah. Único. Customs. Yeah. Costumbres. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tradiciones. Unique customs. Okay. Do me a favor, guys. Take a look at the pictures. Okay. We have one, two, three, three pictures. Can you please tell me what is what is going on? De qué se trata or what is happening? Hmm? Any idea? ¿Qué pasa? Unit custom. Uh -huh. They are celebrating. Something? You're celebrating. Okay, what else? They are praying. Showing they respect. They are from praying. different countries. Okay. Different countries. Okay, they are praying. Exactly. Uh, especially the second picture, right? What else? Mm -hmm. They are dancing. They are dancing. That might be very good. Different countries. Yes. Uh, do uh, they are di uh, the same age, guys? La misma edad, the same age? No. No? Nope. What can you see there? Mm -hmm. Children. Children. You, you see children, okay. It is the same place or a different place? What do you think? Different, different places. places. Different places, but in the same country or a different country? Different, different countries. The same, no, the same, the same country. country. The same, oh. same country. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that might be or that might be not. Okay, guys. Okay, we only have two minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is what I'm going to do. I will send that article to you. You will need to read it. Okay. My best recommend that you were you ready? We already what we have done right now. We already saw the pictures, right? So you have like an idea of what might be the article talking about. Okay, an idea about customs, tradiciones, unique. Unicas, that means that they are, they are not common, right? Unique, that means that they are not common. 
Ah, tradiciones. But tradition about what? Pero tradiciones de qué? Mm. Which countries? Mm. Okay. So please, you already have an idea. Okay, this article talks about traditions. I have the picture here. Uh -huh. I can see people from different countries. Maybe it's a different place, different ages. They are dancing. They are praying. Okay, so what is this article talks about? Which country? Are we talking about India? Are we talking about China? What? Okay. Oriental. Oriental, mm -hmm. maybe. Maybe. So I want you guys to take a look at the article. Just quick view. Like, we already have seen that. Okay, now do me a favor. Try, before you're reading, try to go each paragraph and highlight or resalte, highlight or underline or marque, okay? The words that you don't know what does it mean. Then go to the dictionary and search for those words. Buy esas words. Y usted, a la par, si usted quiere, or with your notebook, write the word and write the definition, okay? After you already know the words, then it's your time to read the article. Read the article because you already have the words here in your mind. I want you guys to comprehend the article because I already have questions for that. And I have, I think, six questions about the article. Okay? This is, we're going to practice reading comprehension. And you will see, guys, that this article is a little bit difficult or a little bit harder than the first one that we have already seen. It's más difícil. Okay. Because that one, it was like a little bit easy, like common things. But this one includes new vocabulary. Okay? So I told you that we're going to like, right? And that is because I want you to get more vocabulary, but at the same time to develop the reading part. Any questions, any doubts, feel free to ask right now. Can you please send no. the, the first, <laughs> the, the first uh, sentences Which? that we were reading? Which ones? The, the sentences that we were uh, reading for the the first the, article. Uh, you want the yes, first the, article? Yes, the first okay. article. Okay, yeah, I will send you the first Thanks. article just for you to practice. But I want you to study the second article. Okay. Okay. Problem. Okay, my that's what I need. That's that's the attitude, Sammy. No problem, teachers. <laughs> of course. So yeah. All righty. And I have six questions for you. Okay. For okay. Monday. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, it was a pleasure to have you one more time. Great job, Umberto. Great job, everybody, in your homework. I'm so happy for you that I will have a great, great weekend because of you. Woohoo! Very good. All right, guys. So hugs and kisses. Have a be safe. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye bye. You too. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Good night. Good night.